Good morning, y'all. Some of you asked for a tour of my daughter's shed, so here we are. Uh, this is the corner porch. It's, this is facing the, uh, the driveway in, so she can just pop right in. Um, that right up there is a, an active loft door, um, so that if she wants to lift things in and out of the second floor without tracking through the house, she can do that. Um, and it could also double as a fire escape if necessary. She wanted the porch, not only for sitting outside, but also to be able to get in and out of her door without getting dripped on. Um, from the roof. This is a 12 by 30 shed um, that she has chosen. <clears throat> um, so let me just shut this door here, come around, move back the way I came. So we're thinking that that might be a good spot for a kitchen. Whenever she unloads her groceries, she can just um, go straight in the door and pop them in to where they need to go um, without any hassle. And then over here behind me, it's a very large space. Uh, she is thinking um, living room and craft room. Um, so, couch, TV, and uh, a work table for, for her projects. Um, she is an artist by nature, so she will be needing a, a large table space to work on her, on her things. Um, she doesn't really paint. Um, she prefers to, to draw uh, physically and digitally. Um, and she wants to get into resins, so that should be interesting. Uh, that is her short loft. Um, I believe it is about eight feet deep, maybe ten. Let me look at the floor here. Each one of these floor panels is eight feet long, and I don't have anything that matches up with that one, but uh, yeah, it's about ten feet, ten feet deep up there. And then on this side is her deep loft. As you can see, it covers, let's see, there's eight, 16 feet of loft there. Um, the height from the floorboard up to those uh, brackets is um, three and a half feet. So, she is thinking of uh, throwing a futon mattress up there and um, just making a little hideaway sp space for herself. Um, we'll see how that works out in practice. Um, I've never done anything quite like this before and it should be a fun project. Um, we are our first step is insulation. We're just going to insulate the crap out of it. Um, I am going to get the unfaced uh, roll batting because we want the building to be able to breathe. It's really humid down here in Tennessee and I want the moisture to be able to escape when she uses uh, her, her furnace in the winter time um, to keep it warm in here. The, the roof is, um, is metal, but they sheathed it with plywood underneath, so I don't have any, uh, there's no direct contact to the metal, so she should not have rain problems from her ceiling the way I did in my building in um, Ohio. Um, it will need some caulking to seal up the cracks, but um, uh, yeah, insulation should do well. We're not putting any plumbing in the walls, um, and we're not putting any electrical in the walls. 
Um, if we're, the electrical that we do will be in um, armored cable so that I don't have to mess with um, cutting holes in the, uh, in the studs to run things through them. Our plumbing will most likely be a, uh, a Berkey, a tall Berkey, um, for water and, and cooking, for drinking and cooking needs. Um, we're going to have an outdoor shower, and uh, the kids will, all, will obviously have always have access to our indoor shower and um, other facilities if they need them. Um, because there's no plumbing, they can't call it a house, and they're of course not the code. It's just a, it's just a nice little cabin. Um, this is her back door. Right now, there's a bunch of fence stuff there and the chickens. But um, we'll build a deck out here so she can just step out the back door and go to the right or to the left if that's what she wants to do. So, hello, guineas. And that's the tour. Um, I don't know really else what else I can show. Um, the, the boy put about 30 piers underneath the shed to level it. Um, we got this building here. Um, the uh, the man or the sorry the, the dealer is out of Camden. We went to Eagle Buildings to get this one. Um, our other shed is from Graceland. We got that one. It's a it's a used unit, um, so there's quite a good discount on it. It was it was too good to pass up. But um, this one is built a little different. I think the the walls the stud spacings are further apart. Um, the flooring is not as I don't know how I want to say um, not as clean, I guess. Um, I think they I think they used uh, cleaner sanded boards on the floor and in the other one, but I don't really mind. I just need to uh, to measure my gaps between there to make sure I get the right size insulation, so I don't have to do a shit ton of cutting. Um, we're, so we're going to insulate it. We're going to get some paneling and put that up. Um, I hate dry I hate drywall. I hate it with a passion. I'm not doing drywall. If she wants drywall, she can do her own drywall. Um, it's not so much putting up the drywall, it's the, the mudding and the sanding and the sanding and the sanding and the sanding <laughs> and all the dust, you know, coughing that stuff up for weeks. So I've done it. I hate it. I'm not doing it again. Um, but they do have paintable wall boards that you can buy if you don't like any of your color options at the store. There is a um, there's a discount place here. They uh, they buy leftovers from other stores and clearance and whatnot. And um, so I'll probably head there sometime in the next couple weeks after I get these lower walls done and um, let her pick out what color she wants her walls to be whether she wants them different from kitchen to recreation space. Um, she will most likely get a mini fridge and we do want to put a masonry stove in here. We haven't quite decided where it's going to go because where I want to put it is the highest part off the ground which means I need to build up a, um, a foundation underneath of the space um, to support the weight of the stove. So, um, if anybody has any uh, masonry experience, I would love to talk to you. Um, otherwise, I'll be winging it like I do everything else. Okay, I better get going. I gotta get to the gotta get to town before it gets too busy. So, y'all have a great day.